Because, like, you have to bring the Super Monkey late game if you are. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way! What is up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So, today we are doing a fire only late game challenge in a Bloons Tower Defense Battle. So, let's go. This is actually an amazing map. And we're against I Am Potato, who actually, for Rainbow Ruins, I think this is, they don't have a bad win loss record. And the same late game. Perfect. Okay, so we have to go for the Ring of Fire because that's obviously like the most fire tower in the game. And of course, we're going to go for the Summon Phoenix and the Dragon's Breath. And last but not least, we're going to go for the Mortar with the Bernie stuff, because of course, oh no, he's skipping. No, he's skipping. Okay, this is absolutely fine though. Park is absolutely fine. Let's go with Park. Let's bring all these towers. We're going to have the Mortar because it has the Bernie stuff on the Mortar, which sets balloons on fire. It's not technically fire, but I mean, it still has an element of fire. So we're going to go with that. So I'm kind of upset because I literally just played against someone and they said late game in the lobby and then they rushed me on round 13 and I almost defended I got a big one up in the artillery battery I used it uh, the ability but they still managed to kill me so I face and just left because like I'm trying to do a late game challenge like okay if you rush me that's fine but if you say late game and then you rush me like it's just so stupid I know Boltrix did a video on it doing this and oh my god that video definitely got a lot of dislikes because he just said late game and then he rushed people which to be fair I don't blame people for disliking stuff like that but anyway let's get back into the video we're gonna start ecoing now obviously he's actually no this is good they are ecoing I am potato over there is ecoing as well which is pretty cool let's go for the lightning remember we can't get the tempest tornado we can't get the summon whirlwind we can't get anything like the blade maelstrom or anything like that we just have to go for the paths that have the fire uh i am gonna go for the lightning as well though because i mean like it's still part of the tower and it's not taking away from the fire like our fire is still going to be the main attack we can have the dragon's breath which is definitely stronger than the lightning also the lightning just causes massive regen farms but yeah Really hope you guys do enjoy this video. It's just going to be a nice, chill, late game session to see if we can win with just fire only towers. I don't, I don't think I've actually done this on the channel before. So it's actually an original late game concept for my channel, at least. It may have been done on YouTube before. But yeah, if you do like the video, make sure to drop a like if you want to see more battles content. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, let's enjoy this. Let's go. So, okay, Iron Potato is going with the Ninja. I believe that's the only tower we've seen so far of theirs. At least that's the only one I've paid attention to. Let's go for the Dragon's Breath over there. So we do actually have some fire on our side. Let's go to the greens. And it's kind of good that we're both ecoing, I, I kind of feel safer because that guy in the last game, they got up a BIA, so I knew that they had at least like 20k cash by round 13 to rush me, and that's not good. If we're both going eco, I know that Iron Potato has a similar amount of money to me, and I know they're probably not going to go for a rush against me. Although, maybe I'll be proven wrong. I really hope Iron Potato does not go for a rush against me, but I, I think we'll be good. So, let's also, so what my, my plan is to fill half the map uh, with the Mortars and the Ring of Fires, and then the other half of the map is all going to be the Summon Phoenixes and the Dragon's Breath, and all of that kind of stuff. And honestly, the Fire Towers in this game definitely look the best in my opinion like the dragon's breath the phoenix i i know the i guess this map is just really green so the red and orange stands out against it i just really like those kind of towers anyway let's keep on sending in the yellows we are actually we're holding off these yellows surprisingly well i guess they have stopped sending a bit but like i'm pretty impressed by how this wizard's doing like it's actually doing pretty damn good so i am just going to get another one up right here actually no let's go for the ring of fire let's go for a ring of fire right down here at the bottom let's go straight for the ring of fire over there unfortunately it can't reach the ai path on the left but it's all good yeah i really hope you guys do enjoy this video so the plan is we're just going to eco to like ten thousand, i think i'm pretty sure ten thousand eco will be enough uh we're at 1800 already which is pretty good for round 10. We've literally just been non-stop equing because I know, I trust I am Potato. They're not going to betray me like my last opponent. Like that guy, he literally, he said late game in the lobby and then he rushed me on round 13. Like I, it was so predictable and I almost defended it as well. That's the most frustrating part. But please, I am Potato, don't go for a rush against me. No, it does not look like I am Potato is going to go for a rush against me because they've literally been max equing. Which yeah, I think, I think if Iron Potato was going to rush me, they would have already rushed me by now. So I think we're in the clear. We're already rocketing up the eco, guys. We're already on 3,800 eco on round 14. I know it's Bonanza, but I'm still pretty impressed with that. I'm very, very, very happy with that. So again, we've only seen the ninja from Iron Potato. So if I were to assume his late game strategy, 
He doesn't have the farm, so that probably means he has Ice Ninja Super Monkey. That is what I'm guessing right now. He 100% has the Super Monkey unless he's doing a really weird strategy. Because, like, you have to bring the Super Monkey late game if you want. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way! No way! I can't believe this. I actually... I cannot believe this. No way. You actually just rush me? Am I am I okay? Am I am I gonna die? Oh my god, I'm, I'm no way! Dude, I am Potato! I trusted you! I trusted you and you went for a rushing spear. I actually managed to defend against that. No way, that was so scary. Why is everybody a late game traitor? Literally everybody, they say late game and then they're like, oh no, I'm just gonna try and kill you right there. No way, dude, every single person. Okay, wow, it is on. It is on. Let, we have to be Iron Potato with fire only towers. Now, remember, this isn't exactly fire, but it's pretty close. Because, like, when we get the bunny stuff, let me, yeah, we got the bunny stuff. Bunny stuff literally sets balloons on fire. So, if that's not fire, I don't know what is. Let's put that over there. Let's keep on ecoing. Dude, I am, I'm so sad. And the worst thing is... I could literally kill them right now with a rush, but that is not the video I am making. I could go for a rush right now. I, I could absolutely destroy them right now, but I'm not going to do that because I am nice and I am not going to be a late game traitor right there. No, we are not going to do that. We are just going to go for our late game strategy. So we need to get up a bunch more of the ring of fires. I'm just going to start spamming towers because we've already got 6,500 eco. And by the way, things have gone already. Like, I feel like I'm Potato is just going to go for more rushes against me. Like, they, if they tested out the camo region rainbows right there, they are going to test out more stuff, guys. So, I don't really feel safe. So, I just need to spam uh, as many attack shooters and everything as I possibly can. And this defense, guys, it is going to look so cool. Like, everything being fire, it is going to look absolutely awesome. Uh, yes, the Ring of Fire isn't, like, that amazing. Especially against the Moab Plus Balloons. But we're going to see what happens. We, we'll We'll see if we can defend against everything but for now this defense is definitely going to be enough to defend like look at this we're just getting up every single attack shooter to the ring of fire and honestly i am potato's defense is terrible like dude i am potato how many times have i said that this video i said their name so many times but i could literally kill them right now they would have to sabo uh and then they would probably get up with sun god but then i would send camo regen rainbows uh underneath that and they would die because they wouldn't know how to micro i mean by now they probably nearly have enough money for a temple so they probably because they definitely have the super monkey over there so they'd probably go for a temple over there but yeah let's let's keep on getting these up look at this that is so many ring of fires on my side right now and we haven't even filled up barely any of the map so let's keep on spamming these towers let's go for all the sun phoenixes because i have to actually i do need to eco a tiny bit more let me just get a tiny bit more eco up in here and then i'll feel a bit happier with my defense because right now i i don't think i have enough so let's just get up to that 10,000 I was always going to go for. Uh, I do actually have a, a more boost power up there, which is going to be very, very helpful if they do go for a rush against me. Because I think boosted this amount of Ring of Fires, as well as the Artillery Battery Stool uh, for my Mortar ability, I'm pretty sure we'd be able to take out any rush they send my way. And I could just like quickly spam a bunch of Phoenixes as well. But yeah, we're only, we're not even eight minutes in. This has been packed full of stuff so far. Am I going to go for a rush? No, I'm so... Dude, I really just want... I'm so tempted to just rush them with the camo region rainbows. Just, you know what? I'm going to send the region rainbows. I'm going to send region rainbows over there because I want them to show their tower that they have. Look at that. Yep, he's going to go for a temple over there. Look at that. There we go. We got him to show the super monkey. I knew he had the super monkey. There was no way he wouldn't. And what did I say? Yep, he has the ice tower. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. He has the ice tower. He has the ninja. He has the super monkey. He has a very, very good late game strategy. But we can still see if we can win it. I might go for some rush against him as well. So definitely stay tuned to the end of this video because it may not end the way you think. Also, Phoenix is pretty good, especially as I have... Wait, what did he just do? Did he just sacrifice his own temple or something? I'm so confused. I am really, really confused. I swear he had more towers on his side. Anyway, let's keep on getting up all of these wizards. My defense, again, it is going to look so good, guys. It is going to look so good. I'm sorry that I'm a bit slow getting up all these towers. I just want to make sure I fit as many on the map as I possibly can. And we're doing a pretty good job on that so far. There are a lot of balloons on my side. But again, balloons are no problem for me. Because I just have an absolute ton of ring of fires over there. So let's keep on getting these up. We're almost finished with these wizards. Then I'll upgrade every single one to the phoenix. Uh, also, I am kind of tempted to send him some more stuff. But I'm not going to do so. Yeah, these rounds are getting kind of harder. You can see there are region rainbows in the AI. 
but like we're fine against that stuff. So I'm going to keep on ecoing a little bit more. Then we're going to get all of these wizards up. Again, we are absolutely fine against everything. They've actually got some pretty decent sacrifices on that temple. Now, I don't know exactly how much, like, how much of the sacrifices they sacrifice to the temple. Because remember, if you want a max sacrifice, you need to sacrifice $30,000 worth of anything. Well, not anything. Actually, yeah, anything, but you have to have specific uh, ones as well, like the Ice Tower, for example. So, to make that temple max that he has with the towers he has, he has the Ice Sacrifice and he has the Blade Sacrifice. The Blade Sacrifice is literally from any random tower, and of course, the Ice Sacrifice is from the Ice Tower. Okay, we have a couple of mobs coming out here, so let me just upgrade a couple of these to the Phoenix. So, yeah, he should if he wants to get a max. Actually, wait, I don't think that's max. Actually, no, no, that is, that is max. Okay, yep. I'm pretty sure he's getting max temples up there, so he's definitely going to have a pretty powerful defense over there. However, I honestly think this defense that I have over here is going to be definitely pretty damn good. Because all of these phoenixes, all of the uh, ring of fires as well for the balloons. So we have the phoenixes to absolutely shred the mob class layers, like the ZMGs, the BFBs, and even the mobs. And then the ring of fires to shred everything else. And I think this is going to be a really underrated, amazing combo. That is why I wanted to do this video. I just think this is going to be such an amazing combo. I haven't really done much with... Oh no, we're running out of money. We don't have any money. Okay, I should probably eco a bit more. But like our defense is absolutely good for the next at least... I would say next 15 rounds, unless I am Potato decides to go for another rush against me. Oh, okay. I am Potato has the boat for that fourth tower. I'm pretty... Yeah, that's definitely the tower they got fourth. Uh, because no one would bring a boat when you can bring other better towers. Like the Ice Tower, the Ninja, the Super Monkey. 100% that was their strategy. Okay, well, we ecoed up to 10,000. That was my goal. So I'm just going to stick with what we have. Let's get the lightning on everything. Again, I think it's not cheating to get the lightning. Because basically, our main attacks are all fire. Um, I should probably get a couple more mortars as well, especially, especially the artillery battery, because the upgrade is so, so good. However, I am going to sell these and get them in a bit of pos uh, better positions over here. So let me put one right at the back. Um, also, let's just get the big one. I guess we'll get the big explosion right in the middle right there. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, Iron Potato is actually, you know what? I'm kind of impressed. I am kind of impressed. Iron Potato has really been fitting his temples pretty well on his side like he is doing a good job um let me just get one more big boom buster because i do I, I really do want to have like a lot of balloon popping power as well as like everything else so we're gonna go for a couple of those honestly you can't really fit that many mortars on this map unfortunately the mortar is just a really fat tower guys like look at this Look at this, you can barely fit them, but let's keep on going for the artillery batteries. We've nearly finished our entire side over here, which is absolutely ridiculous. We have so many towers. So I'm just going to go for like five. I think, yeah, I'm going to go for five more of these. So four more now. I, I just feel like having more artillery batteries is really going to help me late game. And again, it's not 100% fire, but it is it, it is kind of fire. Because I mean, it sets the balloons on fire, so it should count. Okay, I believe that's it for the mortars. Let's just put one more right there. Perfect. Okay, that is it for the mortars right there. We got a couple of big ones. Eight artillery batteries. Now let's start spamming the upgrades on all of my wizards. And honestly, you know what? I think I'm going to win this. I legitimately think I'm going to win this. And you know why? Because they haven't ecoed hard enough. Like, they have... Like, it's just regular Bonanza. We don't have Mega Boost. We don't have Speed or Play with the Fire, so you make more money. And, of course, they're going for a rush against me. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they go for a rush against me? They said late game. They don't want to go late game with me. Like, seriously, come on, dude. Come on. If you say late game, you should go late game. Okay, let's spawn, um, let's say half of my phoenixes. I'm pretty sure half of my phoenixes should be good to defend against this. That's so lame. That is literally so lame over there. What are you doing, dude? Okay, so I should be able to defend against this with all the phoenixes I have. Like, I have so many right now. Let's use another mortar ability. I'm not going to micro any of the abilities, really. Dude, they're more boosting even more. Now, I do have this boost if I do need to use it. So, I think I should be absolutely fighting against that. You know what? I'm just going to use Big Boom Beat Down right now. Remember, they just destroyed. Absolutely destroyed their eco over there. So, they're not going to have that much money. Oh, God. This is looking kind of scary. I do have to be honest. Are we going to be able to defend against this? Probably. I just need to make sure I get my abilities back. That That is literally all. I just need to get my abilities back. Let me get that. Yeah. Look, they stopped sending. I'm pretty sure we were able to defend against that. And they basically have no eco now. They 
literally have no eco. We just demanded that rush. That was amazing. Okay, let's send them a thumbs up. And I'm going to send them a, fa a face palm as well because we absolutely annihilated that rush with my defense. I didn't even complete my defense. That is why you want the mortar store. The mortar is such a good ability for this. Look at that. Absolutely demolished everything. I am so happy about that. And now they basically have no money. They have three temples. They're going to surrender. They are absolutely going to surrender. Like, how are they not going to surrender? They have no money. They're, they literally don't have anything. They are, there's no way they're coming back from this. And I could have killed them a hundred times over this game. This has been absolutely amazing. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know I don't do battles that much, but videos like this are just so fun. Like, and especially how this one's turned out. It's just been so funny, dude. Okay, let's go for a cup. No, I can't fit them. No, it's such a shame. I want to fit even more, but I guess we can just go for even more Phoenixes. Now, I am going to go for a rush against Iron Potato shortly um, because I feel like it. So we'll do that. Also, I guess I'll fit the other game in at the end of this video because it was kind of funny when I faced that late game traitor and they did beat me, but it was really annoying because I I, I, dude, everybody is a late game traitor in this arena now. Literally everybody. But look at my defense right now. Doesn't that just look so good? I think this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, let's just get a couple more of these. And yeah, I guess. Should we go for a rush against... Okay, round of 43 is the first natural ZMG. I'm going to go for a rush on round 43. I'm, I'm just going to go for it then. If they even managed to, like, defend until then. They could have played this so much better. They could have just waited. They didn't know how good my defense really was. Like, they really underestimated the fire-only defense, dude. Especially the mortar ability. That mortar ability, 100% is what saved us right there. Because without that stool, we probably would have died to the balloons. Now, remember... Actually, wait, I just realized, Iron Potato, not only do they have temples, they also have the Ice Store, and they also have the Ninja Store, because they have the Ice and the Ninja. They literally have one of the best late game strategies ever, yet they're not doing it properly. Okay, let me find, there we go. Yeah, there are probably going to be a couple of unupgraded ones, and I really apologize if I do miss a couple of towers. I know how annoying it is. Um, okay, have we got everything? I believe we do have... Oh, we didn't get that. We didn't get the... Oh, no, that's so stupid. That definitely annoyed a couple of you guys. Run 40. We're nearly to run 43 when we're going to send our rush. And it's going to be a big rush, guys. It is going to be a huge rush over there against Iron Potato. And Iron Potato is simply going to go down. They don't have a good enough defense. Now, they could, like, uh, permanently stall my rush, basically, with, like, the four times speed. Four times less speed, should I say? So, we're going to see what happens there. Can I fit another wizard? Definitely, there are a couple more spots of wizards on this map. Uh, there's one more up here. And then, I believe that's everything. Can I please fit it? There we go. Perfect. Let's get the Phoenix. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. You can see that they are doing a good job on their side. But it's not amazing. Considering what towers they have, they should be doing a much better job against everything. And remember, I am not using my abilities, and I'm still defending everything. Like, a, it's like getting to about the halfway mark on my screen. And I haven't used any of my 74 Phoenix abilities. I definitely have over 100 towers on my side, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, you know what? I'm going to send the rush early. I feel like sending it early. So, let's go, dude. Let's go. I'm just going to use this. Crowded balloons, don't even know if that's going to make a difference, but we are sending our rush, and as you can see, Iron Potato is just going to absolutely stall this rush, and they're going to send me a rush back. This is what I expected would happen, so let's use half of my Phoenixes right here. There we go. Let's use half of them. Perfect. Let's keep on sending. Let's use our more boost. Big balloon beat down. Can we defend against this rush? I don't want to use all of my Phoenixes just yet. Uh, let's just use the mortar abilities as well. Oh, yes. We are absolutely crushing this rush right here. Look at that. We are absolutely crushing it. And he again, he doesn't have any more eco now. He just demolished his eco. I did not even use half my... Okay, I used a bit more than half my Phoenixes. Let's use a couple more Phoenixes just to defend against this regular one. One. Oh, yes. I, I don't think he's going to defend against that rush. I mean, they're very, very slow. He has slowed things down to a literal crawl on his side over there. If you defend against that, then fair play. You've defended against that. I could have killed you earlier, but I decided not to. Um, it would be kind of cool if you made a comeback and defended. But he only has three temples. He's using a pop boost on his side. Right oh, oh, is he actually going to be able to defend? Is he actually going to be able to defend my rush right there? Should I have rushed a couple rounds later? Maybe, maybe I should have. But you have to remember, he has no money. He has no money to send me rushes. He's slowing things down again. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to defend against this rush. Actually, well played. Well done. This was a good defend. That was a very, very solid defend. I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to defend against that. 
Okay, nice. Well, I'm gonna have to sell a couple of my towers, guys. They're using the second pop boost. There are still ZMGs on the side, um, and they've used up nearly all, all of their powers right there. So I am unfortunately going to sell a couple of my towers just so I can send another rush if they don't manage to defend against this. But it does. Oh, no, no. They're not slowing it down. They're not slowing it down. It is getting right to the end on their side. It is getting right to the end. Are they going to be able to defend? Oh my god, they actually just about managed to defend against that. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing, guys. Props to Iron Potato. They have been a late game traitor, but they did manage to defend against that, and that was pretty cool. But they're going to just die to the natural balloons. As you can see, they only have three temples. Definitely not enough to defend. So how are we going to do against the COMG? And the answer is... I mean, we have to spawn a lot of our phoenixes to actually pop everything. But other than that, yep, we are popping it. And Iron Potato is just not popping it. So I am going to give them the smiley face because you should not be a late game traitor in this game. But apart from that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was absolutely awesome. I'm pretty sure they've given up. Yeah, they've definitely, they surrendered, they surrendered, yes, they gave up, oh my god, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, that was so fun, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace, I knew it, I knew it, I knew they were gonna go for a rush against me, guys, I literally, what did I say, I knew they were gonna go, oh my, I don't have enough money, I do not have enough money, please give me money, right now, okay, okay, oh my god, they literally just went for a rush against me, are you kidding me?